In this video we're going to look at how to combine information from two separate tables into a single query. So we're going to start with a very crude uh, school style database. So we've got a table and in it we've got um, students and then we've got another table and in that we've got staff. But it could be any database with two different tables of similar type things. So we've got two tables here basically containing people and we might want to combine those into a single list. So um, I'm going to create a query. So I'm going to go to create and then query design. And I'm going to, um, well, first of all, we're going to have a look at how you would combine that information um, into a single query if you wanted them in separate columns. So for example, if you wanted a list of students, so I'm going to include staff ID, no, I'm not. I want student ID. So I'm going to include all the students. And tutor in the student table is just the ID. So I'm going to include the full name and the surname. So um, it's a bit of a squash down the bottom because of the limitations of the video format. But if I have a look at this now, we can see that we've got information from the student table and the staff table in the same query. But what about if we wanted a list? of all people, say, in the database. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these extra columns that I've, I've got there. I'm just going to resize that. So here, in fact, we don't need any more the staff table. So I'm going to get rid of the staff table as well. So now in my uh, query 2, I've just got a list of all of the students along uh, with their IDs and previously I, I've done a similar query which has got all of the staff and their IDs. So if I look at that, so we've got three members of staff and their IDs. So if you're going to combine these two you need to use a thing called a union query and the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that both queries have the same number of fields containing the same information. So we've got three containing uh, or three fields, that's the ID, the forename and the surname uh, for the staff and then the ID, the forename and the surname for the students. However, they haven't uh, both got the same name on the ID column. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change those so they're both the same. You can do that quite easily in Access simply by typing another name immediately before the, uh, the field name here and putting in a colon. So that'll rename that column uh, to be just ID and if we have a look at that uh, we can see that's done the trick um, and we can do the similar thing with the other query so if we go back to the design view and call that ID as well the other thing that's important is that the columns are in the same order um, so just check that so we've got ID for name surname and on here We've got ID, forename and surname, so that's OK. So what we need to do is, unfortunately, there's no way to combine them in the design view. What we need to do is use the SQL view. So I'm going to take uh, one of my queries and I'm going to change the view to SQL view. And that shows the uh, SQL version of the same query. So this is also quite a useful technique if you're writing queries to use in um, ASP or PSP, uh, PHP scripts. So I've combined, um, so I know I've shown my SQL there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the SQL uh, from both of these queries. So I'm just going to delete the semicolon, which indicates the end. And I'm going to type in uh, the SQL uh, commands that I need to create a union query and join these two together. And I just put union all there. So I'm going to go to my second query now and I'm going to go to the SQL view for that one as well. And I'm going to copy all of that apart from uh, the semicolon. In fact, to start with, I'll, I'll, I'll even include the semicolon. I'll just copy the whole thing. So back to query one and I'm going to paste that in. And I don't need query two anymore. So that's done its job. I'm just going to get rid of that and say no. So here it is. So I've got my first query. I've got the words union all. And then I've got my second query. And if we have a look at this, I click on the view. We can see we've got a, a single list with both students and staff in. It's not sorted at the moment, but we could uh, sort that uh, if we wanted to. You only need to 
sort once and you can do that at the end so there's no point in sorting both of the lists individually because that would just waste uh, processing time so it's useful if you learn a bit of SQL um, by uh, before you start this sort of thing uh, but only very simple stuff so if you want to order things you just need to do that at the end once you combine the two things together so if we order by well the traditional way would be to order by surname and then uh, by forename so I'm just going to type that in manually. So I've got my same queries before, but I'm now going to order it. And if we view that, hopefully we can see they're in order of surname. And well, there aren't two with the same uh, surname, so we can't tell, but hopefully it would work for that as well. So we've created a query. And what I'm going to do now is uh, save it. So I'm going to call that uh, query um, people. So I'm going to... Um, Put the letters QRY at the start to indicate that it's a query using the Lazinski Reddit naming convention. Um, and what we notice is that uh, when it creates the query here, it does use a, a different symbol from normal. It's got the two overlapping uh, circles to indicate that it is indeed a um, union query, but it works in exactly the same way as a normal query. If I double click that, I can uh, see the results straight away. And I can also use that query um, with a form or a report in the usual way.